Check, check. <clears throat> Morning. Today we are going to create a web app that can uh, add, edit, delete from the start. Recording now. So let's pray. Father Nevin, thank you for the opportunity to learn for your smart things. Please uh, bless us with wisdom and understanding, especially my students, as we improve our talents for your glory. Thank you for hearing our prayers and listening to pray. Amen. <clears throat> so this is, uh, since it is from the start, I'm going to just create another one. What is the name of that uh, big, big file? Mm, it's not here anymore. It's called uh, Bitnami. Oh, this one. <clears throat> so I'm just going to create a new, <clears throat> a new VM, so that uh, you don't need to remember anything from the other videos. <clears throat> session why Seven two sixteen six three that one eight seven.
six one oh nine. We're going to add our here. So that when we open our browser. <coughs> Let's pick something first. We are going to open the trust. going to turn out of cash where is of cash Very good. Then we are going to set Postgres password. <clears throat> we are going to create table students and then we're going to put an ID number we'll make it uh, and then we have first name name
Okay. The first name should be text. Middle name should be text. Last name should be text. Let's make it nice. <clears throat> first name. Okay. Now let's make a list. We have a connection.
Aha. Let's put some title. And let's put some kind of header. Table header and then the field name. The result field number J. Ta See? <clears throat> Let's put some nice CSS. We will get CSS from Google, from ChatGPT. Mr. ChatGPT helps us with CSS. CSS. What do you want to put CSS, my friends? Here. Style. Oh, I cannot copy and paste CSS. Like Google now. <clears throat> Let's make the table nice. CSS to have one pixel border table borders and rounded edges. CSS now just copy because it's easy to copy it correctly it's not rounded how come not rounded <coughs> border ranges border ranges stable border dash radius
border 1px so the Style border collapse collapse B. one PX solid. looks ugly. I think there is no way to fix this. Let's just do it like this.
Okay, okay. So we have a list that PHP, and then if we want to add, let's make an adder. Let's make a link here. Echo a href equals add PHP. If you click add, it should go to add.php, which it does not exist. So I'm going to create another one. Just going to cut. We're just going to create a table. We'll put a ID, let's make a form. And then another TD. <clears throat> All 
Okay, we will make it work first before we will make it nice. Never mind. We will make it work first. So we have an ad. This is the ad. It looks not nice. But then, oh, okay, I forgot to put something here. But if we type something, <clears throat> it doesn't submit to anything. So we are going to create another one. Equals add submit that PHP. And then this one will get the first name from post ID.
undefined array first name. going on let's just php info first to see what's going on last no wrong spelling last name No wonder. Last name. Okay. Array key first name. Post first name. Ah. Should be single code. Woo -hoo. Let me see if this will work. And define array key first name. Line three. Maybe have to do like this. Oh, the spaces, the spaces class, the spaces are converted to underscore. No wonder. So spaces in in PHP. <coughs> They get converted to underscore. Okay, no more error. Let's move this page. PHP info is uh, very good for checking. See? We have plenty of names now. <laughs> So we can add now, we can add people. And let's uh, delete. What else do we do? Delete. For delete, we are just going to modify the list and we are going to put some kind of, uh, let's get the ID from here. Mm 
then let's put a delete. Then for delete, you can just copy the ad. <clears throat> I only need the ID for delete. So if I want to delete uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, I click this one. Undefined array key ID. Okay. There is something wrong with our list. So you will see the link should be all different. When you click delete here, and define array key delete two. What is wrong? Because it should be from get. Okay, no problem, my friend. It should be from get. Okay, now we can delete. We can add, we can delete. What else do we need to do? Edit. Let's edit. No problem, my friends. Very easy. Click edit, it should go to edit.php. There is no edit.php, we will copy the add.php. But we need something before this. We need the connections Let's try, let's try something. Edit line 20 error. 
number is 920. Expected identifier first. Line thirty two. Select asterisk from uh, ID is getting from Why is there no first name? How to troubleshoot? Echo SQL. Select a student service where ID equals search it, help, enter. Uh, this looks correct. correct so where is the error first name pg resolve first name let's see there is nothing here Is there winner Fred? Okay. How come it's not coming out from here? Input value. Echo first name.
Okay, okay. Maybe I misspelled it. So this is already showing my first name, which is correct. You just add the others. First name, cut. Another one. Oops, sorry. And this team should submit to edit submit. Okay, when we reload the editor, wrong, not yet. We should have something here value equals. without any ceremony but we're not letting that uh, Not letting them edit the ID. Oy. Okay, we are not letting them edit the ID. So when we submit this one, it will make an error because there is no edit submit. No problem, we will just copy Just instead of insert, we'll just create an SQL here. 
update students set first name equals first name middle name equals middle name comma Last name equals last name, comma, birth date equals birth date. Where ID equals ID. Okay, let's see, let's uh, resubmit. Okay, now let's see if we can edit, edit this uh, guy. First name. We'll make him March 3, 2024 20, birthday. Oh, diba, diba, diba? Now we can edit. My friends, they are finished. So let's, this is the list. And then so that we can just, uh, I'm going to make a soft link from list.php to index.php so that if we just put like this, it will show the list, diba? Without the file name. So we can delete, we can add ID. See, we can add, edit, delete. Now let me discuss the list first. How do I make it big? Scale mode. Uh -huh. So in list we have, uh, if you see my key, my mouse, here we have the just the CSS style. I tried to make it look like Google according to ChatGPT. And then we have here the connection for the database. If there is no connection, we just uh, terminate. And then we have the big H1, which looks like this. And then we select asterisk from students. It just lists all the name. If there's a problem with the query, we just terminate with and say query error. We get the maximum number of rows, the total number of rows, and the total number of fields so that we can look here for J's from, and then we have a table and a TR. This is the header from, from field number zero until field number the end. We are going to just echo the field name like this. And because it is uh, th, it will be a little bit bold. And then we do the same thing with all the fields. We have two loops, nested loop for all rows. The i loop is for all rows and the j loop is for all fields. At the end, we add one more table data, delete and edit, which is the link. If you see here, class, I got the ID here so that we can pass the ID on this uh, URL. So when we click, uh, if you look at the URL down in the corner of the screen, each delete has a different it passes a different ID. Yeah. 
also the same thing with edit. So when we click uh, delete, for example, it will set the ID 555 and we'll pass it to delete. Now if you look at delete, it gets the ID. Uh, we escape the string because the hackers, so that the hacker cannot do SQL injection. And then we connect to the database, this thing, and then we just delete from students where ID equals like that, and then we display the mean. That's all that delete does. What if we click uh, add? If we click add, it's just a blank URL without anything. And it goes to add.php. Add.php is just a form. We have some style. We have some form that is for submitting via post to add submit that PHP. So this is just a blank form, but when the data will be sent to add submit that PHP. So let's look at the blank form. The blank form looks like this when you click add, like this. So we can put 777, 7FN, 7 middle name, 7 last name, 7 2023. When we click this, it will submit to uh, submit add submit that PHP. And add submit that PHP will just retrieve the post ID, post first name, and we got stuck here a while ago because first name doesn't return. But when we look at PHP info, we realize that the space in the in the field name is replaced by first underscore name. So we just rename the variables that we're getting because that's what the PHP info showed. And then we create an SQL statement. We connect to the database. We create an SQL statement. Insert into student's ID. Uh, in Postgres, if you cap use capitalization and spaces in the field name, you have to escape it like this. This one ID, no need to double code. But if you need to put a double quote inside a double quote, you escape it like this, right? So this is just a double quote, a double quote, a double quote, double quote. In Postgres, field names that have capitalization and spaces should be double quoted. So we just create insert into students these fields, and then the values these fields. This is the SQL assignment. This is SQL append. Uh, this is append this is assignment operator this is append operator that means it will connect it to the other side and then we send the query if there is a problem we say query error and that's it we insert and then we show the menu so what happens when we click submit it inserts no problem and we show the menu when then we click list and it's here already. <laughs> so that is the add. Next is the edit. Here in edit, if you see the cursor, it it's also passes a get variable named ID. If you see the there at the corner of the screen, ID 777, this one ID 555, ID 321. That is from the list that comes from the list that PHP this part, this part, this part. ID equals dollar ID. Dollar ID comes from this one. So so that we know what we are talking about. So let's look at the edit. This is the most complicated thing because 
we have to re retrieve the data when we click edit for example this one the original data should be here so with the we know what id there we want to edit because it's in the get so we get we get the id and for double security i multiply it by one so that any uh, mischievous string will be removed it will become a number because if you multiply a string by a number it will give an error anyway we escape string for protection of SQL injection and then we, we connect to the database and we retrieve <clears throat> this is just the header we retrieve the data from the students where ID equals dollar ID which is sevens the ID number and then we will retrieve the data there is only one row usually that we want to edit and we will retrieve the data why is this like this? Why is this double quote backslash? Because this is the field name, and the field name has uh, spaces and uh, capitalization. So we get, we retrieve the first name, middle name, last name, birth date to PHP variable from Postgres because when we display our inputs, we want to have a value. You see, my friends, we want to put a value. In our ad, there is no value. But here, we want to put a value. So, so here we have a value ID. But I disabled it because I don't want them to edit the, the ID. Because the ID is the primary key. However, if we disable it, it will not be submitted when we click submit. So I create another hidden input named ID also, but the value has it the value has it has a value. So so that uh, when you click submit, the ID will still be passed. Because if if I disable this the ID will not be passed, so I need another input which is hidden to just continue passing the ID to the next. So the value here is the original value. HTML, oh by the way here, this is HTML, diba? Inside like this is PHP, here is PHP. For example, this one is HTML. This is CSS between style. But if you see like this, question mark PHP, everything here inside is PHP until here. And then it becomes HTML again, right? So here class, I have the original form, but I want to put value, values. So I entered PHP again, and I echo the variable, right? And then I quit PHP, and then HTML again. So here I'm just momentarily going to PHP mode and then coming out of PHP mode, going to PHP mode. So everything between PHP, question mark PHP and question mark greater than is PHP. So this is PHP, echo HTML entities first name. HTML entities in PHP converts the characters into HTML. For example, the ampersand, it will compare, con convert it to ampersand AMP semicolon, right? So there is uh, the greater than, it will convert it to ampersand GT semicolon. Those are the HTML entities. So it will come out correctly. And then when we click submit, it submits to edit submit. So this is the form edit submit that PHP. And let's look at edit submit. Now, well, let me. I will. I want to demonstrate to you the HTML entities like the ampersand greater than less than. Let's submit this one. You see, it has HTML entities. This one, if you inspect it. It's just like that. But when you edit it, it's correct. It comes out correct. 
But if you inspect it, if you inspect this, you will see that the value is oh. That's view source. I am curious about the view source. Oh, you see? If you view source it, the it's, this is HTML. The ampersand became like this. The greater, the less than became like this, and the greater than became like this. So in HTML, it's like that, but in the browser, it's accurately like this. If you don't use HTML entities. For example, in first name, if I don't use HTML entities, see what will happen. There is nothing wrong. No, that's the view source. Oh, it's still okay. Never mind. Okay. It's unnecessary, pala. But I will still use it. So anyway, when we submit, when we submit, it goes to uh, submit. Oh, it's already time. Sorry. When we submit class, it goes to edit submit. And in edit submit, we just get the variables again. And then the difference from submit and add is just this. It's update. Update students set first name equals first name, middle name equals middle name, last name equals last name, birthday equals birthday, where ID, and then it uh, submits to the database and then gives us another list. So that's all. Uh, control X. So when we submit, it just gives us like this, and then we have the submitted thing. Any question? No more time. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is security. Oops, I almost click exit without saving. <laughs> 